in this tutorial video, we're going to go through adding a form tool to the tool database. The tool database includes many tool types as standard, like Nmill tools, ball nose tools, and VBit tools. But tools can have a wide variety of geometry and to include all of them would not be possible. If you have a tool that has a different geometry to one of the standard tools in the tool database, this tool can be added as a form tool. You can see here some examples of what tools you may want to add as a form tool to the software. To add these types of tools to the software, you will need a vector accurately representing the tool geometry. Some tool suppliers may be able to provide this to you, or you may need to manually draw this vector. If you have been provided with a vector of the tool you want to add, you can import the vector by going to the import vector option here. For this tutorial video, we are going to use this example here. When adding a form tool, you will only need the right side of the tool profile. So we are going to need to edit this vector we have imported in. To do this, I am going to go to node edit mode here. You can also get to node edit mode by selecting N on the keyboard. So now that we're in node edit mode, we will want to edit this vector so we only have the right side of the vector. So we will want to make sure we split this vector in half. So we need to make sure we have a node in the center of the vector here, which for this example, we do. But if we did not have a node here, we could add one by right clicking here and using the insert a point option. This isn't currently available to us because we already have a node here. So for this instead, we will now want to select the cut vector option. We also don't need this vector span along the top of here either. So for this, I'm just going to right click and delete span. So now we have made these couple of edits to the vector. I can now exit node edit mode by selecting the selection mode here. And you can see that we have split the vector in two. So as we don't need the left side of the vector, I will delete this side of the vector which leaves us with only the right hand side of the vector left. So now that we only have the right side of the vector, we can now add this tool to the tool database. So if we go over to the toolpaths tab, select this vector and go into the tool database. So first of all, I will want to select the form tools list here. So when we add the tool, it will add it to this section of the tool database. I'm now going to select the add a tool option here. And in the tool type, I will want to select the form tool option. So as you can see here, we now have a vector representing the tool we are going to add. I would recommend checking the diameter that you see here if this measurement is not correct for the tool you are using, this will mean that the vector you used to enter this tool into the tool database is not accurate to the measurements of the tool. So you will need to edit the vector so it is the correct size for the tool you are using. We can then select the create setting option here. So now that we've clicked the create settings option, you can see here that the settings for the tool have become available. So the cutting parameters and feeds and speeds. You will need to make sure that these settings are correct for the tool you are using. So once you are happy with the settings for the tool and that they are correct for the tool that you are using, you can click the apply button to add the tool to the tool database. So if I click OK here, we have now added this tool into the tool database. You may have tools that have an undercut like the tools shown here. Due to the way we display 3D objects within the software, undercuts cannot be displayed in the toolpath preview and so cannot be added when creating a form tool in the software. If you would like to add a tool like this, you would need to remove the undercuts from the vectors when adding the tool. This will mean that the undercuts will not be displayed, so you will need to take this in consideration when creating toolpaths with tools like this.
I hope you have found this tutorial video going through how to add form tools to the tool database helpful.